Hey, what's up, y'all? Um, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, watch my recent videos. I'm going to give y'all my weekly update on my TSLY portfolio, cover calls on Tesla. <clears throat> All right, I now have 230 shares at an average price of $889. I am finally in the green. Today it closed at $8.95, meaning I am up $13.80. They came out uh, to, to, today and um, reported the ex-dividend date, which is Wednesday, February 7th. You had to have the shares on Tuesday, February 6th in order to get the dividend. And it's funny how they, like today, I just got a notification from Robinhood. They give you the ex-dividend date, which is the, the day after the, they give you the ex-dividend date, like I say, the day is... Tech is technically February 7th because it's 1.30 a.m., but I got the notification February 6th when I was at the YMCA tonight around about eight, about 9 o'clock. They, they messaged me. They notified me February 6th of the ex-dividend date of February 7th, meaning you had to have the shares on February 6th. On that day, they messaged you, so which is kind of backwards. They should send it out, you know, some time before that. Sorry about going on the rant, but that's how they do it. <clears throat> anyway, I actually had um 445 shares. As you can see, I sold 215 shares um, February 6th at $8.90. Um, as you can see, my buys before that, I bought 50 shares at $8.54, 50, 20 at $8.60, 20 at $8.74, 20 at $8.80. <clears throat> and five shares at 8.84, and another 20 at 8.85, and another 80 at 8.86. Those totaled the 215 shares, which I sold. I made some profit. I did a swing trade on it. Um, I wanted to hold it at 8.97, but I wasn't sure because I know it was the ex dividend date. <clears throat> and being that. You know, people going to start selling like tomorrow. I sold these 215 shares because I think that tomorrow, within, within this week, you know, the shares are going to pull on back, might dip back down to that 854, 860, 860-ish range. And if it do, I'm going to go in and buy, buy some. That's why I sold those 215 shares to free up some. <clears throat> some dry powder so when it does pull back, I can buy back in and lower my average cost. And do the same old thing. I know the day of the ex dividend date, they, it's going to go up and I'm going to swing trade it. But the reason I do that system is because I made some money on the swing trade. I freed up some money to lower my average cost for the future. And I also kept 230 shares to get a 40 cent dividend. So 230 shares times 40 cents is what I would get. On the seventh, which would be tomorrow. Well, I think the payout date is on the ninth. Um, point four zero times two seven zero. So I got a hundred eight thousand dividends coming. All right, which is cool. I could have had if I kept it. Point four zero times four one four four five. Could at one seventy eight. I swing traded. I possibly probably made seventy dollars. Probably a little less. But I didn't take a risk of holding the stock just in case it do dip back down. So um, just a strategy that I use, you know, to keep my portfolio in the green and close to the 52-week low, man. All right, subscribe to my channel, GGYM. Go get your money.